about a nice cup of liberty. 2024 has officially started, and there's no time to take a break for video games. There are video games everywhere. Helldivers first came out on the scene and on the PS4, the PS3, and the PS Vita in 2015. There was a top-down twin-stick shooter that was amazing for multiplayer. Me and my friends would just sit on the couch and just play this all night. It's got full-on friendly fire, so it makes aw for awesome moments. Strategists coming down, killing your teammates, killing yourself. Turrets don't give a shit where they're shooting. They can kill you, kill enemies at the same time. It, it's all chaos. Let's fast forward nine years later. Arrowhead Studio brings out the long-awaited sequel with Helldivers 2. In this sequel, they bring the camera down to the third-person vantage point. Friendly fire is still a huge thing in this game. And they really lean into the Starship Troopers of it all. And it is amazing. I've put in about 60 hours into the game now. And I've played both solo and with friends. The game is great solo. It's got really cool moments. It's really good kind of exploration. Just kind of get the feel of the game. But it is amazing with friends. Just the mindless killing of bugs while taking out objectives with friends is such a great experience. There are different kinds of missions, so many different kinds of missions, as you progress through the nine different difficulties that Helldivers 2 gives you. And they really amp up. From different enemies to the same enemies but that they get armored, and different enemies that give you different status effects as well. On top of the bugs, they introduce a whole new faction to fight, which feels straight out of Terminator. They're the heartless robots, and they have their different kind of enemy types as well. Just like in Helldivers 1, you can call in stratagems to aid you in battle. This can vary from orbital lasers from the skies to bombing runs to placing turrets on the field to help you take a point. You can also bring in backpacks that have like many turrets, many laser robots and stuff like that. And they kind of follow you around, and then you can also bring in special weapons such as machine guns, flamethrowers. There's so many different things you can bring. With the right balance strategy on the team, it can give the player such an advantage and get through the mission with ease. This game also lets the player play the, th the way that they want, and I love that. I literally can't even count on my hands, or I count just in general how many times I've been killed by my own turret, or a friend's turret, a Tesla coil that just didn't think I could hit me, but that range is ridiculous. It's crazy. They don't care if you're friend or foe. They will take you out. There's an armor system in the game, but it's a little weird. From what I've gathered, there's three different armor armors in Helldivers 2. Each armor has different bonuses and stats attached to them. There's a light, medium, and heavy. While the body armors do have different bonuses, the helmets and capes are mostly cosmetic. There's really no difference, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wish there was like a different way, different like combination you could do with the different helmets the caves or have like a set bonus that would be kind of cool as well but it kind of sucks that they don't really have any kind of bonuses stuck with them you know, like it's pretty much the the armor class if it's light uh, medium or heavy but they do have different stats there's also a battle pass in the game but i kind of don't see it as a battle pass i see it more of a progression tree or progression pass you unlock different armor cosmetic guns and boosters this is there's also a paid version of the same kind of items but you can get that paid version by just completing the free one because you get enough credits to buy that one but you can also get credits during the missions as well because there's different little outposts during the missions where you can get credits you can get badges that unlock the stuff from the cosmetic shop it's it's really really neat from what we've heard, the content drops for Helldivers 2 will be free, and there's supposed to be even more factions to fight. There are a plethora of planets once the Helldivers will all work together and spread that managed democracy. I've had so much fun playing this game with friends. The most surprising thing is how much people are enjoying it. I thought Helldivers 1 was a cult classic, and I think I'm right, but with the release of Helldivers 2... This game is finally getting its its recognition. It's 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 coming out party. From what I've seen, it topped a 200k concurrent on Steam and selling over a million on PS5. This is a must buy, and this is my goatee so far for 2024. I know the year is still young, but it's a goddamn good game. If you have friends that want to do some mindless Starship Trooper style bug exterminating, kill some Terminators while spreading that de managed democracy, this is the perfect game for you.
If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys like the content on the channel, please hit that sub button. Tell me what you guys think of Helldivers 2. If you guys have any questions about the game, put them in the comments below. I will try to answer as much as I possibly can. I stream over on twitch.tv slash beard and the hair about three to four days a week. I do a lot of Soulsborne content over there. A lot of Helldivers right now, too, if you want to check out the game. I'll be streaming it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent.